الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أحبت في الله as we mentioned the importance of adhering to the two conditions to have our deeds accepted which are that you do it your worship sincerely for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ikhlas and that it's in accordance with the sunnah of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the Prophet ﷺ said in a hadith, and one of the greatest lessons we gain from this hadith, as it is a long hadith, is that it shows us the importance of following, of, of being sincere in your, your actions, sincere in your worship, sincere, especially in some of the three greatest deeds that you can do. From the three greatest deeds that you can do, and, and they're mentioned in this hadith, one is seeking knowledge. If you seek knowledge, as the Salaf used to say, Talib al-Ilm, Talib al-Jannah. Seeking knowledge is seeking paradise. And the second one is uh, being martyred in the cause of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That this is also one of the greatest acts you can do. If it is done sincerely for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that you strove in the cause of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for his sake subhanahu To have that accepted by your Lord, to barak wa ta'ala, is one of the greatest deeds. And the third is to have to spend in the cause of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That the one who spends his or her wealth for the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on the various ways of good, if this is accepted by Allah, then this person has achieved a great success something and they will be successful bi-idhnillah the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam said jari فَقَدْ كِيلْ ثُمَّ أُمِرَ بِهِ فَصُحِبَ لَوَجِهِ حَتَّى أُلْكِيَ فِي النَّارِ The Prophet ﷺ said He's gone oh. That one of the first people on the day of judgment to be judged is a man who was martyred You know, a man who fought in the cause of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala And he was martyred and he will be brought before Allah, and he will say, and Allah, and the man will be asked, and what? So what did you do? The man will say, I fought for your sake, and I was martyred. And Allah will say, you lied, but rather you did it so that the people would say that you were brave, and they said it, and then he will be dragged in the hellfire. So that shows us the reward for a lack of sincerity, and. Uh, the reward for a lack of sincerity, meaning that the jaza is, 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 is jahannam. That the reward or the outcome or the punishment is the hellfire. Because that was an act that was supposed to be done for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But he sought the praise of the people. He got the praise of the people. Means he got what he wanted in the dunya. But in the akhirah, he was one of the khasirin. He, he lost. And the second one, وَرَجُلٌ تعلم العلم وعلمه وقرأ القرآن قال فما عملت فيها قال تعلمت العلم وعلمته وقرأت فيك القرآن قال كذبت ولكنك فعلت لي قال هو عالم وقرأت فيه وقرأت لي قال هو قارئ فقد كيل ثم أمر به فصحب لوجه ثم حتى في النار so the second one was the one who sought knowledge and and taught that knowledge and read the Quran or memorized the Quran recited the Quran and, and taught the people that and he will be asked so what, what did you do? 
And you say, I, 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 I sought knowledge and I taught it. I uh, recited the Quran, I, you know, memorized the Quran and I recited it and taught the people. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will say, you lied. But rather you did it so that they would say that you're a beautiful reciter. And you did it so that the people would say that you are an alim. You are a person of knowledge. And faqad qil, meaning it was said. That the people said this. The people, those people, they received their praise again where? In the dunya, in this life. And in the hereafter, they were one of the khasirin. Because it was said, and Allah said that they lied, and they ended up in the fire. And the last one, وَرَجُلُونَ وَاسَعَ Allah عَلَيْهِ And a man who Allah increased his risk, وَاسَعَ Allah عَلَيْهِ وَأَطَاهُ مِنَ السْنَافِ الْمَالِ كُلِّهِ And Allah gave him wealth from the various different ways. وَأَطَاهُ مِنَ السْنَافِ الْمَالِ كُلِّهِ Allah gave him from the various ways that you can gain wealth. فقال وما ما عملت فيها قال ما تركت من سبيل أن تحب أن ينفق فيها إلا أن فقت فيها اللق he said I, I didn't leave a path didn't leave a way to spend except that I spin it for your sake. That means the various ways. He built massage, he built charities, he did all this good. He used it for Dawa centers and everything. All these good things, massage it. Except for I spend it for your sake. Allah will say, Kedabt, you lied. But rather, you did it so that the people would say that you were wealthy. And they did. So then, it will be said that you lied. And Allah will drag him, have him dragged by his forelock or by his face. And thrown into the fire. This shows the Habatifullah, the point of mention in this long, beautiful hadith, is it's a reminder for us that important shart for our deeds to do things for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Pray to Allah for His sake. Give charity for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Um, whatever you do, do, make da'wah for the sake of Allah. Be careful. Don't let the shaitan deceive you. And, look, and, and make it so that you look and want the praise of the people because that can be your very destruction. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us with ikhlas, with thabat, ala sunnah, sunnah to men, sunnah to Nabiyyana Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, wa sallallahu wa sallam, ala Nabiyyana Muhammad, wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.